What's going on guys? Welcome back to the brand new video. It is Zombie here and take the brand new video and as you see on your screen it is not Clash Royale or any game. It is OBS and a lot of you have been asking for this video in my streams. I want, I, I already recorded a 7 minute video on this but I looked back at it. It's sloppy. I want to upload a good video for you guys. So here is basically what you need to do. If you're on Windows or Mac, download OBS. It's, I don't, I don't want to go on my internet right now and do it because all you have to do is just download OBS. It's fairly really simple. And that's basically all you have to do is just download OBS, and then after that, um, you will get like a download link, and then you have to hit that. It's it's really simple, I promise you. And then once so you once you download OBS, you will see this screen right here. So I'll explain what it is. So you want to add scenes to your videos, like these. So add a scene. You just want to add a hit plus right here. So here's like my screen right here. If I was making a class real video. And then over here you add the audio input capture, which is your microphone, so how they hear you talk. The image is the overlay, so as you see, no overlay, 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 no overlay. Basically that window capture is the thing recording your screen, so that is how you know um, what you're recording. Sorry about that. Okay, anyways, that's basically all you have to need to know about this stuff. It's fairly, really, really simple, I promise you guys. Just download OBS. Add some scenes, add what your mic is, in case you're using a mic, it will have the name under a mic. Um, image is just an image off your like, downloads or something. And then window capture is just your window screen recording. You could be using Lonely Screen or Elgato. In my case, it's Lonely Screen, so I will show you how to use Lonely Screen if you don't know how already. So I, I have a scene, uh, scene 4 right here. If you want to record your class, um, your main screen, you hit window capture, or no, display capture, my bad, and this will pop up. As you see, it's a little trippy. That's how you know it's working. You hit audio. Um, you hit basically audio input capture, so they hear your microphone. And then what you do there from there is just make sure it's moving a lot like this, green, like to green and red. And that's basically know how you got it. And then you want to go to settings. If you want to stream, make sure you type in YouTube Gaming right here. I already did it. And then type in your stream key. Do not reveal this to anyone because see that will make it so they can stream on anyone's account. So make sure you do not give this to anyone, okay? Do not give that to anyone. Basically exit out of that. And that's basically all you need to do. You can do a fade in case you want to fade out out of um, a transition to a new scene or just at the end of the video. That's basically what you do there. The settings are pretty simple. I don't mess around the settings and I, I still record on stream, so that's why I don't I don't really mess with that stuff too much. You can minimize this if you want to to add an overlay like my um I'll show you this whoops real fast. This is uh, minimized for me. So the screen is where the gameplay goes. And then I could always minimize it if I want to. So I memorized like the lowest screen was taken up the whole screen, but I made it smaller, so if it's in the overlay. That's what I need to know for this. So what you need to do next is go to the internet, go to LonelyScreen.com or Lonely Screen Airplay Receiver. There'll be a download link. I'm not gonna show you right that uh, right now because it's kind of pointless. All I will show you is just me typing it in, and then Lonely Screen will pop up. Basically, what you do is go on your phone screen. Now I'm trying to get hooked up right now, but what I gotta do is like, turn on my computer, which I can't do. But it's supposed to pop up um, on your screen. Then so slide it up on your phone. And then you'll see uh, AirPlay or something like screen mirroring. Tap that, hit loading screen, boom, it's done, it works. There is a bug with loading screen, like where if you exit out of it, you can't look, oh, there it goes. If you, if you exit out of it, you can't get back on it. So here's my screen right now. We scroll down, it's a little laggy, but here's my screen recording. And then here is this that I'm recording. So here's what it will usually look like for a stream and it exits out again. And you gotta make sure you're both on the same Wi Fi um, for both computers, otherwise, it will not work. And try to make sure you have good connection because if you have bad connection, it'll obviously be very, um, uh, like blurry and fuzzy. And then basically, if you're on iPhone, I explained it, use, um, or if you're iOS 11, just download iOS 11. Then if you scroll up on iOS 11, it'll work fine too. Like, let me try to hook up my Miriam one more time. Anyways, download iOS 11. You can, you, like, DM them on Twitter to get the link, like, the support. It's kind of a bot, I think. Then, um, or just even go on the internet and ask them, like, ask the internet, hey, what's the iOS link? Like, I got mine from Twitter. So it works 100%. Um, then you scroll up, like, the taskbar. Hey, screen mirroring. That's another way if you're using, like, AirShow, download AirShow, or you could use the Lonely Screen, which works fine. I'll see that now. And then, if you're on iOS 11, there is a recording button, like, oh yeah, here, okay. right now, by the stopwatch, there is a button that I'm kind of, like, 3D pressing. You hit start recording, microphone audio off and on, and yeah, mine's not recording, and, uh, 
my load screen does not work right now, but I promise it does because obviously that's how I stream. And then you hit that recording button and it basically records your screen. There is a glitch for this though. Um, it doesn't record your audio, so that's why I don't use that. Otherwise, I would. It's a lot easier to make videos. So that's basically what you do for an iPhone, Windows, and for all Mac users, um, I was a Mac user before I broke my computer and now I'm using Windows, but fairly, fairly simple. It's one, Mac is one of the easiest ways to record your cost your screen. What you do, go into the launch pad, uh, find a quick timer player. It's a pre-installed app. You don't have to get it anymore unless you're an outdated Mac user. You do have to download it. It's free though. Download Mac and then it opens up. It says there'll be a, like a little pointed arrow facing downwards. You hit that button. You go to your phone's name because your phone has a name like mine's Carson's phone. So I press that. It will pop up with your um, phone screen. And then if you have OBS, you slide that onto there. Like you just drag and drop it. Or that's all you need to do. It's just um, hook up your audio to it too. Like in a quick time. And then you're done. That's how you used to record videos. Easy. Like I plugged in my USB cable to my computer on my phone on the Mac. Pulled that up. It worked fine. Also, you do need, I forgot. You, need, you do need lightning cable to plug in your phone to your computer. So use B chargers, like what you charge your phone with. It's really simple. That's basically all you need to um, record your Mac screen, your Windows screen, and your phone screen. Sorry, I could not really go to your full screen, like their phone screen, like really into details, mostly because mine's really laggy and uh, low on the screen isn't working. So basically, that's how you record your, um, all your screens for Clash Royale. If you guys want to know how to edit videos, that will be a part two. If you want to know how to edit videos, please comment down below in the comments below. Now, I'm not an expert on the stream, like, what is it, in the settings and stuff. I'm not an expert on that. So, if you want to, like, really maximize your OBS settings, go ahead. Like, knock yourself out. I don't really do that kind of stuff. It works fine for me, so I'm going to keep it, like, this way. But over here on the right, you do see start streaming. Then here is this time, like, live button, like, right here. And then recording. I've been recording for seven minutes so far. You hit stop recording if I want to stop it, obviously. Then start streaming if I want to start streaming. You do have to hook up YouTube in here, so I'll show you that. Your settings. I already said stream, you click this, it'll be none. You hit Twitch, you'd be gaming, Smashcast, there's plenty of Facebook Live. And then you hit your Steam key right there to YouTube um, Gaming. So you hit to, so go to YouTube, create a studio, then live streaming. Then what you basically do, I'll show you right now actually. So let me go on the internet real fast. So I'll show you a little sneak peek. And then um, YouTube, I spelled that wrong, but oh well. Stream, I don't know, recording fails. Basically, what it loads, I think my internet is going really, really slow. So basically, for what you want to do on YouTube is um, go on YouTube and live stream. It's really, really simple. Oh my gosh, I split it wrong, so it's coming up with Bean now. Let's just go to YouTube, hurry up for the video. Oh, it's taking forever. Okay, then basically, for Mac, I showed you for Mac, I showed you for Windows, um, I showed you for phone, but I wasn't very good. I mean, sorry for like the least amount of explanation. But if you guys want to know how to make thumbnails and overlays, I will do that in my next video if you guys want me to. And also, any questions you have below in the comment section below, please comment below. I will answer all questions within a day, not the video. If you have the questions from like three months ago, from this video it's created, go ahead and I'll answer them, I promise. Just ask me some questions about this if you actually need them. Then I'll try to answer them. And of course, my YouTube is like not working right now. It's like loading as slowly as possible as it ever. I could never gone slow before. So, of course, it's doing it now. Right when you record, because I already recorded this once. But then, like, I thought it wasn't that good enough. So I like, nope, I'm deleting that. It was not that good of a video. Hopefully, YouTube loads. So I'm gonna show you some more stuff in here while we wait for that. So I, I don't know if I showed you the fade, but the fade does that. I think I showed you the fade. So basically, if you want, so sources. Sources are audio, I'll, I'll click this. Color source, image is the picture. Audio input and output are the mic. Um, display capture is the thing I'm recording now. This, the record your screen, your computer screen. Sound game capture is the record like the next window. It's not that good, it's pretty laggy. Image is already from the image. Uh, I don't know what Steam does. Video capture device is for your phone. Same with window capture device. So that's basically it. If you want to add a new scene, all it does is it resets your sources. So you have new sources to play with. Like these, I don't ever use. I don't know why they're here. I do use this. I use scene four and scene regular scene. I should probably name them, but and then it looks like YouTube is like not loading at all. Let me try one more time. See if that refreshes. Hopefully it does. I think it's actually being like it's only window like windows behind it, but it's like only two. So it's basically how you record your screen. I guess YouTube is not working right now, or my, it's probably my internet, not YouTube, not YouTube, but it's on my internet. 
So basically, you just go in live stream and then like create a studio and live stream. Then you mess with those settings. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video and want to see more of, of these types of videos that kind of edit your videos, make sure to comment on the section. Oh my god. Leave a comment in the section below and then also ask any questions you need help with. And thank you guys so much. Peace out.